at the Phantom Works in St. Louis, they're doing just that. 90 Days visited there late last year for a look at a very unusual aircraft design effort called Project Diamond. The Phantom Works is a group of people that are looking at new ways of doing business for our company. We're looking at uh, manufacturing methods, we're looking at materials, we're looking at ways to rapidly modify existing aircraft. And in the prototype area, we're looking at, at ways that we can manufacture aircraft cheaply and efficiently and demonstrate new technologies to the people and basically demonstrate to the world that uh, McDonald is committed to make a change and to respond to the customer's needs. There are a lot of very innovative people out there and they're employed in areas where they can't show their, their unique abilities. They're very talented in what they do, but as a large team on a very large aircraft project, they don't often have the latitude to, to show some very radical and, and forward-thinking ideas. And this is where the Phantom Works comes in. The Phantom Works has the opportunity to take some of these ideas and allow these people to apply them in the in small and different ways to show that they may have merit to our future programs. Uh, we have known for years that uh, our company has the talent to be able to respond to a very fast turnaround and design and build an airplane and demonstrate to the customer some unique capability. But we've not shown that capability and that's where Project Diamond came into being. Project Diamond started off primarily as a as an exercise to get a good basis for bidding future programs. Special manufacturing techniques, using special materials, using a very quick response team. Part of the team was a permanent assignment and part of the team were volunteers and as more people became aware of the project, more people wanted to volunteer their time. And we uncovered a lot of people who were very interested in a quick turnaround project and people who wanted to input their fresh and new ideas and they wanted to see things happen over a period of months instead of a period of years. One of the few requirements that I put on this project was that the airplane be so unusual that it is not connected with anything that we've ever seen come out of this company before. And the aircraft itself is called a joined wing aircraft. One of the first problems we ran into when we put this aircraft together and we went to our volunteer people and asked them to tell us, for example, where the center of gravity should be and how it would fly and what should we do on this aircraft, their response to us was that our computer codes are excellent codes, but they're not set up to handle this type of an aircraft. And so uh, we uncovered the fact that maybe one of the reasons our airplanes look like they do over and over again is that our computer codes are optimized for certain types of aircraft. Diamond is, is giving us a platform to prove that there are some new aerodynamic controls out there that will work. Right now, uh, a standard aircraft has elevators and ailerons which deflect into the wind to cause the aircraft to maneuver. We're looking at things that will perhaps not cause those controls to deflect. And if that works out, that becomes a very, very efficient airplane because we don't have any, any things in the wing to disturb the air flowing over the wing. Uh, the, the reaction to the project has been very gratifying. We've briefed this to people throughout NASA and the Air Force, uh, and the military is enthusiastic about it. The only criticism we got from the Air Force was that it's not flying fast enough. And they want to see more uh, speed from the aircraft. So our job for next year is to rebuild this airplane with a turbine in it. And that turbine will be installed and flying in early summer, roughly a six month from uh, no airplane to flight. And we're going to demonstrate to the Air Force that we can respond to them we can give them the data they're interested in and we're listening to them and we can do it quickly. There are people who uh, express some doubts that uh, the aircraft and the size of the aircraft is a hobby type airplane and those people only see the external surface of the airplane. They don't see the depth of engineering that has gone into it. 
This type of prototyping activity has been going on for years in a lot of companies outside of McDonald. And we tended to look away from this because of the complexity of our products and, and the thought that a model can't give us any information, that we need big computers, massive wind tunnels, and years and years of study and analysis before we should fly an airplane. Uh, there are dozens of examples of successfully flying airplanes that started off as a small-scale model, low risk. Uh, they crashed them now and then, but there was not a lot of money lost and not a lot of time lost. I think this concept lends itself very nicely to bring out some unique ideas that people have no way of expressing. If we were to uh, have a contest or some kind of a competition that says, once a year, if you've got a unique idea, uh, we will evaluate these ideas and every year we'll build a new aircraft and we'll explore these new possibilities. And I think it will do two things. I think it will encourage unique, innovative thinking and I think it'll send a message to our customers that says, uh, we're looking out there. We're looking for the different product, for the better product and we're not constrained by a uh, traditional way of thinking. For Bill Butters, working with talented people who are enthusiastic about what they're doing is a gratifying part of Project Diamond.